Chinatown is interesting, you know, even for uh, Chinese come to Chinatown, uh, if you don't live here, you feel like tourists because, uh, you know, most of these shops here, uh, if you see these uh, 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 herb shop here, okay, nothing has changed over the last uh, 50 years. So just like in New York, Chinatown is right next to Little Italy. I have no idea why that is, but uh, perhaps it has something to do with the Italians taking the idea for pasta from the Chinese. Here we are at one of my favorite places in the whole world. This is the Imperial Tea Court in the San Francisco Chinatown. You can get a great selection of seasonal teas straight chipped over from China, right here, really good stuff. I have a lot of favorite shop and uh, we buy these uh, different uh, kind of uh, Chinese pastry we really like. This is one of my uh, favorite items that I always buy in Chinatown. This is, this is called cha siu bao. And uh, this is uh, everyday food. And uh, this will be Cantonese equivalent of Big Mac. Mm. I got two here for you. <laughs> So this is my favorite DVD store in Chinatown. It's called Asia Star. So here's a little tip. If you come down here, you can get the latest in Asian movies well before they ever make it to the U.S. release. I had Kung Fu Hustle about three months before it got to the theaters, and I saw Hero about two years before it ever made it over. If you walk across Chinatown, you see a lot of these buildings on, on the second and third floor normally. The ground floor will be commercial and that's where their clubhouse is for their family association. You see that vertical sign says, uh, says Ning Chao Zong Gong Hui, Tai San. That's where they're, uh, where are they from in Canton. I think when they first uh, uh, immigrate to U.S., uh, this is a quite hostile environment. So they, they really, you know, people from the same village and the people from the same parts of the world in China, you know, they help each other. So the family association really kind of uh, take care of all the needs of the new immigrants. So one of the things that got me attracted to Asian culture in general and really brought me to Chinatown is that since I was a little kid, I have loved tea. And I just really love the variety, uh, everything about it. And then I started watching Asian cinema. I loved all of that. And uh, so, you know, then I figured, well, let's go to Chinatown. You know, I've got a Chinatown near me. I might as well check it out. Now it's one of my favorite places to come to just when I've got some time on a day off. Hi, my family owns this building. About three years ago, we bought the building. And we did the seismic work on the property. And then now it's rented to Wells, a low, a downstairs right, rented to Wells Fargo Bank. And upstairs is a rooming house. We have 14 units. And uh, mostly elderly tenants, they've been here for maybe perhaps 15 to 20 years or some longer. Future for Chinatown is a great place for new immigrants. They come here and uh, they feel comfortable. They live here, they have Chinese doctor, Chinese, they eat their Chinese food, you know. Uh, you have lawyers, accountants, and they all speak their language. So they feel comfortable here. But um, they live here for a while, they move on to other neighborhoods. Forget about it, Jake, it's Chinatown. <laughs>